good evening everyone so welcome to my youtube channel so today we are going to see an important question that to that between any two dual doors of k to the power sin x is equal to 1 there is at least one real door of k to the power x cos x plus sin is equal to k so let's see how we will solve it So, we know that uh, e to the power x sin x is equal to 1 if and only if e to the power minus x minus sin x. Okay. Because you bring this part here and you say minus sin here. Okay. We will get. Okay. So now put. So uh, we observe one thing. So this implies x is the root of e to the power x sin x is equal to 1 if and only if x is the root of e to the power minus sin x is 0. Okay. So, finding the root of this equation is equivalent to finding the roots of this equation. So, now we put fx is equal to okay. Now, let a and B D two rows of e to the power of sin x is equal to one. This means it means A and B are both of E to the power minus sin x is equal to zero. Then f a is equal to zero and f b is equal to also zero because these roots satisfy this equation and this is nothing but ever suitable to this one. So putting a and b in f, they will make it zero. So this implies f a is equal to f b is equal to zero. Now observe one thing. Observe that F is continuous on closed interval A B. Okay. Second one F is differentiable on open interval A B and third one we have F A is equal to F B. Now this implies F satisfies all the conditions Of rolls theorem. Uh, okay. So by rolls theorem, uh, 
there at this C belongs to open interval A B such that after that C is equal to zero. But what is F dash? You see here, what is F here? Not F is e to the power minus x minus sine. So what is the differentiation of x? So this implies. So put the value here t. So this implies e to the power minus c plus cos t equal to g. Now, if we multiply both this side by e to the power c, then what we will get? This is implied. Okay. We have c belongs to d. So, hence, this means two zeros or two rows. So this implies first of all. So what is C here? C is root here. This implies C is root of u to the power x cos x plus one to the power x. Hence, G1, uh, hence, between any two rows A and B of B to the power X plus sign X. e to the power x sin x is equal to 1. There is at least one root of e to the power x cos x plus 1 is equal to 0. So this is true. So today's question of today, if you have any problem related to today, you can comment on my YouTube channel. Like, share, comment, and subscribe my YouTube channel. So thank you very much for today's lecture. We will see you in next lecture.